stretch of 17 out of 20 on the road. I know you guys are thrilled to be home. Oh, no doubt about it. Just hope the home cooking is as good to us as, as it has been um, since we've, uh, well, since I've been here. So um, we just happen to be home, and uh, now we just got to go out there and continue to, uh, uh, you know, make hay on, on the two games that we've got in Houston and hopefully, I mean, in Atlanta, hopefully that uh, we can start winning some series. Yeah, talk about that. You do some good things in Atlanta, but some uncharacteristic things that this team has done of late as far as the errors, the defensive lapses. Are you concerned at all about that? Well, I don't know if the defensive lapses. I mean, yeah, there was one yesterday when uh, Tory ran into Michael. But, uh, I mean, you're always concerned when you got outs uh, pending and you don't get them. But, uh, you know, I don't think they're lapses. I think, uh, you know, uh, yeah, Elvis had maybe one in, um, in Minnesota. But other than that, I thought everything has been physical. And there's been periods when we put things together. We just uh, got to make sure that we put it together for a longer period of time. So, um, no, we can play defense. We just got to go out there and do it. I know you still are, are trying to put the pieces together as far as the bullpen is concerned. But one thing that does seem to be, um, you know, steady for you at the back end is the return of Neftali. And he seems to be settling in to the, to the guy that we know and, and have come to know over the last couple of years. Well, no doubt about it. You know, as I always say, you play this game long enough, you hit a stretch where things don't go right. And for a period there, things didn't go right for Nephew, but um, that's the way baseball go, and you have to fight through it. And uh, he fought through it, and we're very happy to have him back. And uh, I've been very pleased with the way the bullpen has been performing since the last day in New York. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep it going because uh, we're going to depend on those guys a lot. And then finally, you talked about making hay while the sun shines here at home. 16 of 19 um, you have going into the All-Star break. An opportunity for you guys to really um, separate yourselves from the division. Well, just an opportunity to go day by day and win as many ball games as we can. Uh, you know, it's obvious that the division don't want to get separated. So we just got to worry about ourselves and not worry about everyone else. And each day that we play, we just got to go out there and try to be the best we can be and win that ball game. And if we do that, uh, I think everything else will take care of itself. Thank you so much. Does that mean a lot to you? Or? Well, it does. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, the past few years, it's been a great rivalry against the uh, Houston Astros, and uh, we certainly uh, want to keep the silver boot in Arlington as well as they want to try to bring it back to Houston. So, you know, I don't think that's going to be our mindset, the silver boot. It's going to be our mindset to go out there and try to play the very best game we can and, and beat Houston as I know they're thinking the same thing. You know, you got your mind on, on your games uh, every uh, day, but uh, I'm sure you noticed that the Mavericks won, won the title, and it, maybe it has to make you think you were so close to yourself. And even though there's a lot of baseball to go, does that make you kind of to say, hey, you know what, we can be there soon? Well, you know, you always think that. Uh, Anytime you hit into spring training, you think you got a chance, but uh, you have to play the season. And, uh, you know, I think the whole community is so proud of Dallas Mavericks and um, uh, Coach Carlisle, what he's done, uh, holding those guys together. And you have to pat those guys on the back for having each other's back. And that's what it's about. And more than anything else, uh, he kept them together. And in the end, um, they did what uh, they set out to do when they went to camp, is uh, become the world champions of, of basketball. And they certainly did. And I commend them. Players getting a tattoo of the World Series trophy on their arm. Um, I would say that's his business. Uh, it's not my skin uh, because once you put it on there, you can't take it off. So uh, I think Terry did that. Yes. Uh, well, he had a had a feeling that uh, it would happen, and it did. Uh, it was meant for those guys this year, the way they played, the things they went went through, and how they did it. Um, they did it the tough way, always trying to come back in the fourth quarter. And uh, the good thing about it all is they, they gave the ball to the, to the right guy at the right time in the right situation, and he delivered. I know you don't want to get into conference realignment, but what would you think of this Astros rivalry joining up with the Astros moving to the AL West? Well, I would like to go down to Houston um, 18 to 19 games instead of flying somewhere else. It's closer. Other than that, uh, you know, I certainly like where we are.